Hello and welcome back to FTP Skies episode 20. This time around, I'm going to focus a bit on improving my crafting situation. Um, it's rather annoying having to go over here every single time. Uh, so I decided to uh, invest a bit of time into figuring out how to do the wireless access point setup. Um, it, it seems very straightforward. Uh, just need a bit of a flux crystal or probably a couple of them. I probably need more of everything uh, at some point here. I need, I know I need two of them. Uh, I need one for the wireless crafting terminal. Yep, I need one there. But I, first of all, I need one for the uh, wireless access point. So placing it here for now. I don't know what I need to do here, but it has a range. It has a thing here. I probably need to boost this up quite a bit. What is this? Enter dust. Yeah, I need to look into that one. Um, but we also need something to actually access it with. Uh, so with the, I think it's this one here I need, which requires another crafting terminal. So crafting terminal done. Dense energy cell. I don't think I've made... Oh, I need even more Fluix. How much Fluix do I have? Um, yeah, probably not as much as I want to. Um, how do I crush this down? I do it in the crusher down here, I think. Didn't I have a crusher down here? Or did I... Perfect. Ah, ah, Let's uh, ah. speed it up a bit. Oh, kind of drops off, right? That was one stack of that. I likely need to figure out a way to actually automate this as well. Uh, crafting those by hand becomes kind of tedious. But that would be... I don't think I'm going to get around to that right this moment. Um, where were I? I was in the process of creating some cells. I need eight of them, right? Ask me to do, yep. Yeah. Yeah, eight cells, and that should be what I need. So here we have our first. Uh, do I need to do something like link it? Link it? No, how do I link it? We'll do like that. Um, is there a way to do this? Wonder how to link it. Hmm. Would have been awesome if it actually told me how to do that. I don't see it anywhere. Um, so I'll figure that out and then I'll be right back. And yes, I just figured out I need to have the security terminal. Uh, usually i am been playing a lot around with refined storage in the last previous episodes of things, or not in the episode, but in uh, my playthroughs of things. And they require a slightly different... Um, yeah, a slightly different attack to it, so to speak. Uh, there we need to do the want the right clicking of one of the um, um, one of the items for it um, one of the I can't remember, what's it called in refined storage uh, wireless access point or something like the wireless transmitter um, so if you want to access that you'd want to go through the um, to right clicking that one but for AE it's apparently a security terminal where do I actually want this to be so for now, I guess I, uh, I can just place it up here. I do have plenty of channels here. I still have uh, plenty and plenty. I do have. Is that a uh, eight channels devices on the network? Okay. Right, the other one. Yep. So there we go. Now it's linked. Now I should be able to use it. Yes, 
Perfect, perfect. I was wondering, there is uh, the upgraded version of it, I think. Uh, something called the Universal... Universal Terminal. I think it's that one. Which just requires uh, any two combined. So if I craft one of the other ones, um, let's say... I want to craft the um, yeah, one of them. Doesn't really matter which one. Um, if I take that one, craft it. it, should be fairly straightforward. Something like that. Oh, I need another one of these. That might be a problem. Yeah, that is a problem because I do still need one more or uh, some more for it. Let's see how many Fluix I actually have. Yeah, I should be able to do 16 of them. I yeah, I I'm not a big fan of uh, crafting them manually, so I do need to figure out a way to automate that. Uh, so. that one. so here we go. Fluix dust in the back. Then with a ton of... Uh, next elements here probably also need to add a few uh, energy cells to my actual network because i do foresee that uh, things can spike a bit and i'm guessing there's a limitation or something did i craft the right one i think i did so if i take this one and that one i can combine them into one and this one here will get, grant me access to all the things I can then open up another terminal. Cool. And I can go into another my Okay, so I can only can only access the ones that I'm in. So can I oh so I need to actually throw in all three of them if I want access to all three of them. Um uh, kinda makes sense. I had hoped that <laughs> I could uh Skip that step, but yeah, apparently not. Let's see. Uh, we need a few more. Okay, I need plenty more fluid. So, searches. How does it look with that? We have plenty of searches quartz. I could also go about. Uh, how does the what, what is it called the growth accelerator? I think it is. How does that look? Crafting wise, that should be completely doable. It is completely doable. So, yeah, it's a temporary thing. I think I'm gonna. Can I please come up? I really should install a. I really should install an elevator here. Elevator. Give me an elevator. <laughs> Two elevators, please. And. Right here. Not where I was trying to place it. So now I can quickly come up and down. Um, growth accelerator. I need a bit from the A system in order to place it. I need a few more flux cables. Do I want to make them? I think I want to smartify a stack of them or as many as I can. And I need to. There's so many things you need to do. <laughs> can always find more things that are uh, that you miss doing that you need to do in order to improve your uh, life cycle here so I was thinking um, uh, this is just gonna be temporary setup though so two down here and two down there I see and then go out a bit here then have a growth accelerator right here and then I can use my newly Envisioned element here. I can place these here. Does, does that take up a channel? That does not take up a channel, so it's purely power. But I was thinking of using the, uh, what are they called? The annihilation plates or something like that? Um, annihilation blade, I think it is. Let me 
try and kill all of those. Um, for them, I probably need to figure out there is a fight of some sort that I might need for it. So let me see if I can do that. So I want you. Can I configure you? There's no way of configuring when uh, an inhalation plate should function. Because I only want you to actually work. Mm. I wanted you to work differently. That's the thing. I need to look into that, I think, before jumping too much into it. But for now, at least, I can have a, an excellent farm of it and quite easily get a ton of uh, searches. Cool. Next step there would be setting up the uh, charger down here. So I can I can't put in one at a time, but that's going to be tedious. Is there other ways? There's that one, and there is the uh, Tesla coil. I could go the Tesla coil route, but Hmm. Well, it's, it's actually not that difficult to do. But, yeah. I think I am gonna take the other route first, though. So, let's figure that out. I need in order to build that one down there. Out of range, yeah. Okay, can I do the range boosters? Booster... AI Infinity Booster. So I need three of them in order to create an Infinity Booster. And I do actually have everything except for the booster. So if I drop a few pearls here, um, they need to go through... How do I create that dust booster? How did I create that dust? I can go through thermal or I can do this the inscriber okay do i have an inscriber i can't remember i think i have one somewhere i craft i have one downstairs don't i we do slightly slow and i can probably not uh, boost it up in any way right I still need to figure out if I can actually automate this. Right now it looks like I can't really. Yeah, and I need to figure out if there's a good way of creating that logic of uh, of when to to do those things and or not do those things. enough for a few boosters can I create three of them or need to create four of them and create an infinity booster probably gonna completely tank my power uh, setup let's see how is that the access point doing 100 hours that's actually not bad and now I have it everywhere yep excellent It's really, really, really cool. Yeah. I like that. I really do like it. I probably need to restructure it at some point, but I do really like it. So, next up around this here was... Um, I'm not sure what the quantum bridge does. Gonna skip that for now, uh, but I did want the uh, last one of these here if I can. So, in order to craft it, I need a crafting terminal, and crafting terminal, I need formation plane. I oh, I'm running low on on what was that I was running low on? Uh, 
supposed to. I'm also running low on plates here. Let's craft a few of those. And I want this one here. So many stacked uh, crafting recipes is slightly annoying. That. Now I have this one here. I can craft the here. So now I just need the fluids crystal dust for this. Yes. How much fluids do I have left? Definitely not enough. So the recipe for it is to toss in. Is there another way of doing this? Oh, I could just purchase some. Let me see what how many emeralds I have. Emeralds. This would be enough to actually get me through it. Then I just I take a few of those. Prep down. Wait again. Is there anything else here? Trading for all sweet. I have not enough food. Just be pressed. Perfect. And then I have a bit more fluids here. So now we should have what I need in order to complete this. Seven of them. I already crafted one, right? And there we go. So that should be what we need to craft this one. Yep. And I then, as I expect, take this one, this one here. So there we go. Yeah. Okay. I can actually see in the tooltip which one it has in here. Cool. And now it can take even more power. <laughs> I just have a villager spawn on me. I did. You there can go down in the box. Boxed up villagers. Is that exploitation? Oh. Well, here. A drop of experience. Oh, okay. Maybe I should set up an auto trader for the Fluix crystals, then I'm not going to be in a problem with them in the future. Damn, yeah. That's a future me problem. So for now, we have the element here. We have the uh, annihilation plane. I did try that out. I'm, I'm. They can be enchanted. Right. So that's the route that you take to get it. I do like this. They can have silk touch on it, which is very rare. Uh, efficiency here, efficiency silk touch. Okay. So basically, you need to figure out a way to get a ton of uh, silk touch on them, and then that would be the way to do it. Something like this. That's the wrong one. Can I try and wheel it off? doing it. So I'll stick around for a while and see if I can be lucky to get a bit of silk touch here. So if not, then I might look into alternative routes uh, in the near future of how to actually get some silk touch. Um, yeah, I'll uh, be right back. And let's continue a bit here. Um, so... I couldn't let this live here. Uh, I didn't get all of it enchanted. I only got one of them. And I actually ended up thinking that, oh, I don't need Silk Touch. I probably want Fortune on it instead. Uh, but yeah. Uh, anyway, I kind of broke a bit of this here because I needed to relearn a bit about uh, subnetworks. Uh, so I created a storage bus, bus. And I need a storage bus here. I need an ME interface on, on the face of it. I then need to go into the storage bus. I think it's called like extract only I think so maybe 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 um then i needed a quartz thingy up um, at least the way that i built it uh tested it out was placing a quartz 
uh, above it. Then placing a storage bus here, not storage bus, a me drive with a disk in it. This disk here is a bit special, so let me just show you. Um, the disk went through the cell work bench here, and I configured it to only allow Certus Quartz crystals in it. The reason that it is set up like that is because I want this uh, small sub-network, as it's uh, called in uh, AE2. I also got the achievement here for recursive networking. Um, but yeah, um, the sub-network here, I wanted to only, and literally only, uh, use the... Uh, um, what's, what are they called? Uh, only allow for social squads uh, to be inserted into it. Then I could take the uh, fancy cables here, place them all up. Let me... So there we go. So now we have two out of uh, eight channels uh, used, meaning that I can place a few of the uh, panels here. So if I place this one here, it immediately sucks up the item below it. If I look in here, uh, it now has 10 out of a thousand. So this network here, a uh, small network here that is kind of detached from the other one, can pull in a thousand social quartz crystals uh, so that I always have a thousand available on my main network. Uh, now I just need to, I think I want to go uh, get those enchants uh, working for this one here as well. Because I do like the idea of having uh, yeah, having fortune on all of them. Uh, probably gonna take a bit to get fortune on all of them, but the, uh, the build process for this here is fairly straightforward and easy. So just continuously throw it in, pull it out, and probably restock on lapis at some point. That's a problem for when I get to it. Anyway, I'm uh, continuing a bit on the uh, enchantment work, and then I'll be back once I have all, at least four of them set up uh, for now. So yeah, be back later. And now that we have expanded our A network a bit, and we have this automation set up, this small sublet with an annihilation plate set up. Oh, how did, why did I get that here? The network full. The network here is full. I guess I guess it overflowed and just tossed a couple of them on the floor. Okay. I'll keep an eye on that and see if that happens continuously. If that happens continuously, then I need to potentially look into some sort of an overflow protection there or use a different way of storing it. Uh, but yeah, I'll take a look at that. Um, but I was always just over here checking my uh, latex uh, amount, and I have a fully filled up system here, and I need it for the next one here. I needed 100 buckets. So let's go in and see if we can find it here. Uh, latex, yeah. Uh, there we go. Something like that, I think. And if I then place down... I don't want... I don't want the... Here to connect, I want this one to connect, and I don't want. Did I misclick it? I might have. I'll do like that. That goes fairly quickly. I could do like that, and I'm done. Oh, so that was uh, a damn fast quest, and now I can slowly uh, craft that one there. Um, while I was looking at that, I was also thinking, okay, I kind of, kind of need. Uh, this here to also craft something, right? So I need you to output something to something that can craft, but yeah. Um, for now, I'm just going to throw a storage drawer on top of it. Um, uh, do I have one? I, yeah, it doesn't really matter which one it is right now, because it's going to be replaced at some point in the near future anyway. Uh, in front of it, I think. And then the front here, which one is this? Is the output, and the front, push it out. Yes, then it should start pushing it in here, and then we have a, a beautiful small craft here. I'm actually wondering, do we have in... Now that there's new things here, is there also something that can craft? Uh, no, I don't see that here. Oh, I just remembered. I, I, I want that. I so want to do that that way. Uh, sophisticated here. So if I take a standard sophisticated backpack, that should be quickly too quick to craft. I can do the um, what's it called? Um, 
compacting upgrade, I think it is. I need uh, that on here for it. So compacting, and I need the advanced one, I think. So let's take a look at this one here. So we only have one upgrade slot. I think I'm going to go with upgrading this once more. Interesting. Um, do I have any? I do have uh, some ink, so I might as well color it a bit. So if I go like this, it has that color. If I go like, there's something about if you place it in different ways, there's different parts of it that you're coloring. So I just want to go like that, I think, because this is going to be functional. Uh, storage straw. So now I have two upgrade slots. Well, what the other, uh, I was thinking of something else uh, here. Um, I don't think I actually want to use it as a storage setup. Um, what was the other thing here? Uh, not pick up, filter, no, nope. Oh, I think there was something else. Maybe not, maybe not. Anyway, let's go over and see if I can actually automate this. Um, because that would be pretty cool. So if I place you down here, you will start receiving them. If I place you here, I can say... Uh, let's get a few more. So this one here should be able to do it. Right. I want you to allow this one here. I want you to work uh, like that. Want you compact anything? There we go. So, just for the sake of it, something like that. And it will automatically start packing it up. I don't know if I can do. Um, I think there is a way to lock a certain uh, slot memory. Okay, um, how do I do this? I'm not sure. No MBT. Select all, select none. Let me just verify here. So I want like half of this, uh, well, but more than half of it, most of it, to be these items here. I turn you off for a moment. And then I want a line of, or at least, that, let me just say two slots. That should actually, it will, that two slots is fine. Uh, and then everything else should be something like that. Memory, uh, save settings to slot one, save, select all. Let's see. So now it remembers that it's only that that goes in there. Can I? Cannot put that in there. Perfect. So something like that, that should function pretty well. And I can no longer sort the inventory either, which is perfect. Cool. So now I have a fancy small way of compacting here uh, using a small backpack. Next up there would be, this uses no power, nothing else. Like this is pretty decent. And it... Basically, whenever it gets nine, it automatically crafts it. So there's no like a speed uh, limit or anything on it, and it does craft everything that you need. So that's this is an excellent choice of just placing down a backpack. Next up to this one here, we probably need to consider some way of actually smelting them down so that we can convert it into latex. Uh, latex? Uh, no, not latex. What what does the, does it actually convert into? Uh, can I never remember. So it converts into the what are they called? Rubber. And rubber, is that plastic that it converts to? Yeah, plastic. I think I'm gonna go with something, maybe a redstone furnace or an ingest smelter, one of the two. Yeah. One or the other. Either way, there's room for that here once I get to that. Is there anything else I need to build here right now? So this here creates everything I need in order to get on with, with the next one. Um, I did actually think about here to do a, the drenched 
uh, getting started into it because I should have more than enough. Uh, let me just verify. So if I go and look at elemental craft, uh, so drenched is requiring a water source. I do have water sources here at plenty. And I do have everything else I think I need for this. Uh, so if I start jumping down this path here, say, um, create a stack of them, perfect. And to this one here, I need an, an elemental infuser. I need the extractor. What is the, what is that called? It's just called an extractor, right? Yeah, it is. An extractor. Um, I need a bit of piping as well. Um, Where's the piping? Probably blind or something. What is it called? Uh, that one, impaired. I think the impaired one is the first one you can craft. The other one requires drenched, yeah. I don't need much of that. I do need a little bit of it. Um, and then finally, I need something to contain it in. So a small uh, elemental. I actually think I need two of them. And then I need a bit more of the impaired. Something like that. Okay, let's... Uh, I'm, I'm, I can just place it down temporarily and then relocate it at some point. I think I'm going to do that for now. Ooh, what? No. No, not yet. It's not quite there yet. It's getting closer and closer. Um, For now, let's just place it here. So, the build-up is this here, is that you place uh, something here. You have one of these here on top. Come on. Something like that. I then want the... So just because I'm not sure if I can place it directly on top of it and how good my aim is. Something like that. That should craft it here. Excellent. So now I start sucking that one dry. Perfect. Uh, for that we can move into the next canister here where we place up the elemental infuser on. Infuser. We can have a piping here in between and output over there. That should get that going. Um, let me grab some. Grab a few of these. I probably need some. If I remember correctly, I need some configurations of what goes in and out. So, yeah, just gonna craft a few of these for now. Just because it's one of those things you keep on crafting it. Um, and there's really no point in doing it in this. Yeah, there's no point in keeping on crafting small amounts for everything. I need some sort of a chest system right now. I don't want to go full fancy yet. And then for this one here, we need a few stacks of iron, I think. So... Could also be using some other mods for this, I think. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna use this for, for the first uh, build here, I think. No, I don't think I know. Um, something like that. Drop in the iron here. So that would insert an iron here. Once that is done, get another loot piece somewhere. Uh, I swear they keep spawning. Oh, there it is. They keep spawning everywhere. So if I take the next trans one here, if I just place one here and ask that one here to start the chucking in, then it just pulls in everything. But if I do like that, it should only take in the trans ones. So I'll just automate this and have it run as fast as possible. Can I actually speed this one up? Like I don't know if any of this works. Yeah, in a in a few moments, I should have all the things. Oh, that's uh, that's nice. Wonderful. That's a heavy bee. Some laser IO stuff. I really start need to start thinking about jumping into laser IO. <laughs> uh, elemental craft source. Oh, so, yeah, that's uh, that was a good bee. I like the bee. So yeah. In a few moments here, <clears throat> I think I should have everything I need for um, for this. I'll get that ready in between episodes, and then I'll um, 
think I'm going to wrap up here. So this episode here, we went a bit uh, deeper into AI 2. We uh, played a bit around. Oh, there was a quest here. I did not notice that. So yeah, nice. A bit of questing here. A few more impaired, a small canister. Some more impaired, some small canister. Perfect. Some drenched, which gives me a drowned statue. <laughs> um, oddly... Uh, Oddly enough, that actually makes sense. <laughs> oh, right, I think didn't we get at some point? Uh, didn't we get a shrine here or something? We did get the budding shrine that takes earth in order to create, I guess, uh, amethyst. Uh, might be something that we will look into at a later point. Let me clean up my inventory here. So we have. 35 so far? That, that goes pretty fast. How many did I actually need for the quest? Just out of curiosity here. Uh, 64. So yeah, 64 is not that much. Uh, beyond that, we need to work on pink slime. Pink slime is a bit more complex. We need to get the distillation chamber with pink slime in. So we need a mob slaughter factory. I guess that's also what... Didn't it uh, say that here? Like, humane... Can't spell slaughter without... Yeah. That. Oh, those bad puns, right? Very, very bad puns. But yeah, this is uh, going to be one of the next things. Yeah, I also kind of need to get a farm up and running. I guess there is a path for that somewhere here as well. Uh, yeah, the mob crosser down here. But yeah, that requires the slaughter factory first. Cool. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, not that one. What else did we have in the overpowered uh, next chapter here? Elementium. So we want to deep dive into um, to Botania, at least to a, a good a level here. That should be fairly straightforward. Um, insightful crystal, 512. Okay, the... This might be interesting, to say the least. I don't know if there's a good way of doing this. Okay, so I can get a ton of them by having... I might need to work on the uh, enchantment altar that I have. Because there is possibilities here of getting a ton of it with some of the honey bottles I have. But then I need a mob farm as well. So yeah, that kind of goes hand in hand with the pink slime, I guess. There is some new things that I need to look into. I could also jump at the B route and just have it automating uh, that way. How much work would there be in getting an experience B? Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Didn't I... Did I import them? I think I imported all of them into my A network. Uh, experience. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I could go the experience B route uh, and just get a ton of them up and running. What do they need for... I didn't even check that. What do they actually need for... Let me see. There should be a donation for them, right? What do they eat? They eat uh, bookshelves. <laughs> that should be easy enough. I think I can... I do also think... Didn't I also get in the simulation chamber something? I did get a few simulations uh, dropped from the loot beast. So I could go that route and have... Fully encapsulated into a beehive. I might need to look into that. Because that would be, like, really, really cool. Yeah, I at least have some uh, some things to go in and consider now, I think. Um, I think I have a path set forward for me. Uh, that allows me to slowly uh, inch towards the next uh, tiers here. There is some... There's gotta be some cool... Oh, blaze cakes here. So either I need to go explore a lot, or I need to automate it. Yeah, um, anyway, that's a problem for when I get there. But for now, um, I got a little bit of uh, applied uh, energistic uh, AE2 setup. Uh, finally got it wireless. I do like it. I do also like that I can actually access the other types of interfaces here. I could probably uh, expand with the additional uh, terminals uh, if I so terminal. So there's a um, 
probably some other ones that I'm not currently using. Like, I don't know if there is. Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to figure that out at some point. But yeah, it, it's really, really cool that I now have a, a wireless access to it, which makes crafting and uh, uh, working with those things way, way, way easier. Uh, I'm also going to look a bit at the... Uh, the improvements that I did around the uh, latex unit here. I do love that this is now functioning. And then finally, of course, uh, well, not finally, I also did the drenched thing quickly. But yeah, I do like that this simple setup here, there's ways to improve it, I'm 100% sure, but uh, this works really well. But yeah, for now, thank you for uh, following along. Thank you for uh, watching. I do hope that you learned a thing or two. I certainly did this time around. Um, so have a wonderful day, have a wonderful um, evening or whatever uh, time of day that you're at, at right now and see you around.